Moodle looks like uh, any other website. In fact, that's what it is. It's just that what's installed in it, in a domain, is a course management or learning management system. Moodle is completely free and you can install it, as I said, on any domain. You just need a server and you're ready to go. So let's take a look at what a Moodle looks like. First of all, there's a center. Okay, this is where you can aggregate the information as a teacher. There's the left side with different kinds of blocks. And there's the right block with other kinds of uh, plugins or applications. You can move things around. In other words, you can move things from the left block to the right block. So everything is very modular and I'm going to show you right now how this works. Okay, so first of all, I'm in as you, which means that this is what you see. I'm going to go in as a teacher to show you how I can move things around. And you'll be able to do this very, very soon. So in the first uh, two weeks, you'll be working as a student on a Moodle course. And then in hopefully week three and four, and if you want to stay week five, you'll have a chance to practice the very things that you'll be learning about. So let's take a look first of all before we start moving things around let's take a look at what you have to do first of all you'll get instructions right here the latest news top right you simply click on this and view it there are other older topics you might want to click here notice that the clickable or hyperlinked words are in another color okay which is very typical to any other website. Let's take a look at the activities. We're on the right block. So far, you have been exposed to checklists, discussion forms, and resources. Resources are content. Checklists is an activity, and so is a form. A discussion form is considered an activity. Moodle is divided into three parts activities, resources, and blocks. Let's take a look at the resources that have been added to this course. You click on it and you see something that looks like a book and it's in fact it's called a book. Now follow the book. Okay, Just simply click on this and follow it. So let's do that now. We'll click on it because that's a hyperlinked word and will follow. Notice what you have on the left and center. On the left, you've got what's called a table of contents to the book, and there are different sections, one, two, three, four, and five. In addition, you've got arrows here and here, and you can move, go through the arrows or go through the table of contents. So we're going to go through the arrows. We'll listen to the video and then we'll go on to the next. Okay, and the next one. And this is a way to share information with students in such a way that it looks like a book and it's easy to follow. Okay. Next. Next, we're going to go back through breadcrumbs. We don't know where we are, but if we look over here, you'll be able to go. This is where you are right now, and there are arrows pointing to the right. You're going to the left until you get to Moodle 4B, Moodle for Beginners. In short, it's Moodle number 4 and B, M4B. So let's go there now. Okay, so here's the, where we are now. Okay, then the blocks, notice it says blocks, resources, activities, 
that's week one. And then there's Moodle layout, which is part of the activities resource. So the layout's divided into activities, resources, and blocks. So we're going to go to M4B. If we go any further, we're going to go into the website. And we don't want to do that. We want to stay in the course. Okay, so this is part of the navigation. Now we're back. Okay, center is the main content. On the left, you've got comments. You've got the online users. And I think uh, this was explained before. Okay, you can add comments here and so on. Now there's a question here. Is this the discussion? Well, this is called a comment box. The discussion forms look a bit different. Okay, this is a discussion form. They're in the center. They're never on the left or the right. They're not blocks. So uh, they're in the center. Let's take a look at the first one. The first one is the introduction. There's also a support form. You can see it says form two, form one, progress. Okay, this will help you. And notice that there are topics. The topics are the same topics that you, you were introduced to on WizIQ. There are there is one topic for each week. The first topic is Moodle layout and activities. The second topic is not available right now. It will be available to you. Second topic is engaging learners. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of it. What you have to do in the course is simply follow the center. So this is week one. You click on updates and support if you want to ask a question. You go into the introductions and introduce yourself. And then you watch this video. And that's it. That's all you have to do for week one. Week two is called creating engaging activities. Week three is learning and teaching online. Week four is with IQ on Moodle. And the final session is going beyond the Moodle MOOC for active lifelong. The same subject that you had in the Moodle, in the uh, with IQ course. Now I want to show you over here, just above the breadcrumbs, you'll see Moodle MOOC on with IQ, and you'll see Moodle practice area. I suggest you do not go into the Moodle practice area. It may confuse you, but you will go there at the end of the course and possibly in weeks three, four, and if you want to stay for five. You should access the interactive syllabus and the WizIQ course. So if you want to go back to the WizIQ area, you click over here and it'll take you right back. Okay, here we are. Okay, again, I can go back. I can go to the syllabus, which is um, over here, and back to the Moodle course by going back. And here we are. In addition, I mentioned going to the syllabus over here as well. You might want to do that. If you need me, or if you want to get support, contact for support. Okay, so interactive syllabus is right here. You should follow it. It's got all the information that you need. If you have any questions, you can go into, let me show you, insert, and you'll get a comment. Insert. Okay, comment. Scroll down until you get to comment right here. Okay, that's one place to get the comment, but as you can see, you cannot comment right now. And the reason is you need to comment somewhere. So let me comment on three learning areas because this is something I want to ask about. And then I go into insert and here's the comment box. And I can ask, what do you mean by this? And then click on comment. Okay, let me show you. What do you mean? So add your questions, suggestions, comments. What do you mean? And then I click on comment and it's there. Okay, let me take it out. Okay, I'm going to take it out. There it is. In addition, you can also add your comments 
over here it says comments so you can do that as well it's a different system so it doesn't go by words or phrases it just goes like this it's like a chat okay and you can add your comment as you go down okay or you can click over here and get your comment on the side so lots of options uh, it may make things confused let's go back to the Moodle for teachers dot org okay we're going back from the syllabus okay and here we are once again okay I'm in as a teacher which is why you see turn editing on okay that's something for teachers and that's it so I'm looking forward to um, getting questions from you thank you